All right, y'all, hope everybody's doing okay today. I have been on the hunt for one of these for a while now. Um, this is one of the Jackery portable power stations. Uh, y'all may have seen one of my earlier videos. Well, I did it earlier this year, I believe. Maybe it was even late last year, where I basically built a generic version of one of these with the cigarette lighter plug and the USB ports out of a AGM deep cycle battery. And that's working out pretty good, actually. But I decided to go ahead and pick one of these up because they have a coupon right now at the holidays. And after breaking my wrist earlier this year, that AGM battery with the, uh, the battery storage case and the parts I have on it is very, very heavy to haul around. So I thought I wanted to get something a little bit lighter. Now, obviously, this one's only a 240 watt hour 200 watt capacity one with with that's with the built-in inverters the, the wattage output uh, it doesn't have as much capacity as the AGM one but hey this will be enough to charge cell phones power a portable cooler or something like that for uh, for a little while so anyway it just came in today so let's take a look at it give you guys a close-up of it here it's the front of the box The sides. Take a look at this flip side first. Give you a shot of these specifications on it. You can pause that if you need to. And then the back. This one is uh oh, I think it's two forty nine on Amazon. But right now, at the time of this video, which is December. Uh, December 20th of 2020, they have a $20 off coupon. So let's take a look here. I've already cut this little piece of tape. Looks like pretty, pretty nice packaging. They got the typical support things at top. Hey, don't send it back to Amazon call us if you have any problems. Oh, this is nice. Nice little neoprene case. Probably contains, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it has the uh, charging cables. Now you can charge this from your car using the 12 volt cigarette lighter or accessory outlet. Or you can charge it from your AC outlet in your home. Or you can charge it with a solar panel, which I have, but uh, it's not a Jackery brand solar panel. But let's take a look at this and see what nice little EVA foam backing on it. Yeah. There we go. Ron spanking new. So what we're going to do, one of the things it says right here, please charge your power station to ensure full capacity for maximum battery power charge me on every six months or keep me plugged in when not in use. That's interesting to keep them plugged in when not in use. Huh? So yeah, what we're going to do first thing is I'm going to plug this up, have her start charging, and then we'll take a closer look at it on the desktop. Stay tuned. Oh, I forgot to mention, instruction manual was inside the box as well. Let's take a quick peek at this real quick. It has some sort of a, oh. Register now to get an extra 12 months warranty. I'll for sure do that. That's a neat little warranty card shaped like a Jacker unit. I thought it might've been a, FAQ card or something like that. We've got the small little white sheet of sales information. And then we have the instruction manual. So we'll get this charged and I'll be right back to you. All right, so everybody usually has a favorite power outlet and <laughs> the one closest to where I do my videotaping is actually in one of the upstairs bathrooms. 
this is called the bear bathroom because it has some bear <laughs> decoration in it. But yeah, pretty simple. Plugged in the AC converter plug, plug it in. And this was at 37% out of the box. So I, I did not power it on or anything. I just plugged it in and the display came on. The manual does says that you can actually use it while you're charging it as well. So we're gonna let this peak up before we take it to the desktop. I just wanted to show y'all real quick and easy how easy it was just to plug it in and get her charging. And we'll make note, it's at 37% and it's 223 in the afternoon. So we'll see how long it takes to get to 100%. Okay, it is now 312 and we're up to 49%. So we'll check back in after a while. All right, it is now 5.08 p.m. I fell asleep last one, check it earlier, but you can see we're still at just 74%. So we'll check in here another hour or two. All right, it is 6.45 and we are at 95%. So I don't know if I have a chance to come back and check it tonight, but I'll just leave it plugged in all night. So, and then we'll head into the desktop review. All right, y'all, so we got her all the way charged up last night, and I hooked it up to a little, oh, a little electrical fan to test it out for a few minutes, and you can see it already dropped 1% from that. But, uh, yeah, there's, uh, you know, there there's thousands of videos on these things on YouTube, so basically I just wanted to do this one today so my subscribers can see my little toy <laughs> that I got. But these things are pretty cool. You know, um, if you don't know how they work, I'll just run through that real quick. And you charge it up like I showed you here. This is the input. Now you can charge it through a car cigarette lighter adapter, through AC outlet in your home like I demonstrated earlier, or you can hook up a solar panel to it. And I actually just ordered um, an SAE connector to a solar panel connector because I have a 100 watt solar panel that I used on our RV before and that I also used to charge that deep cycle battery that I have. But yeah, I mean, if you wanna, this turns it on and then when the unit is working, it shows in here how many watts are coming in if you're charging and how many watts are going out if you're using something on it. And then it shows the current capacity. Now it has a little timeout on the thing. Basically, I just turn on the display alone. But then you can turn on, like, say, the AC outlet here. And when you do that, now you can pull up to 200 watts using the AC outlet. Because this has a built-in inverter, it converts the 12-volt lithium power to AC. Which is another nice plus. Plus, it's noted it is a pure sine wave converter. So that means you can use this to charge your cell phone, your laptop, your iPads, some of the sensitive electronics that normally you don't want to hook up to a normal, say, for example, a gas power generator or a, a real cheap inverter. And you can turn on different products as you need it. So you can have an AC item plugged in here, and you can have a car um, adapter, like a cigarette lighter adapter item in here or you can have two cell phone or two USB type chargers right here. And note too that those are the five volt 2.4 amp chargers. So those will charge things pretty quick on that. And yeah, that's basically how, that, that's basically how this little setup works. It's just a, a portable power supply that you can use when you're camping. Uh, you can see that they have vents on both sides. There's nothing on the back. There is a fan inside of here. If you really start pulling some power on this, it'll that fan will kick in and start running. And it says Jackery across the top. And the bottom of each one is serial numbered. And now from what I understand too, uh, the reviews I've read, Jackery is pretty good about their warranty. So the first thing I did, of course, was register this. They had a little card in the box saying my warranty would uh, be two years if I registered it. They asked for the serial number and the Amazon order number because I think they sell the majority of these on Amazon. So yeah, if anything goes wrong, which I hope it won't, but if it does, at least, uh, you know, I have a chance to see if they can make it right with me. But I'm pleased with this. It'll do what I need it to do. And it's definitely, this is about six and a half pounds, I believe. So it's definitely a lot, 
uh, <laughs> a lot lighter than that uh, that big deep cycle battery uh, contraption that I put together. But if you haven't seen that, I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the bottom in the comments of this video. Well, not in the comments, in the description of this video. I'll put a link to that video as well. It works good. The disadvantages of it, it's heavy. And that, that type of AGM deep cycle battery, you don't want to take lower than 40 or 50% in power. At least I never do, which is about, oh, I don't know, 12.1 volts or something like that. These are lithium batteries. And technically, you can take these to zero on the power and charge them up again with no ill effects. Now, the one disadvantage or drawback of the Jackery, the Jackery brand, the type of lithium battery they use in these, I don't know if it's lithium polymer, lithium ions, I think it's a lithium polymer type battery. These have a charge cycle life of about 500 charges. Now in the manual it says greater than 500 charges, but from all the reviews I've said you can get about 500 charges. So that means you can discharge this thing and charge it up about 500 times before the internal battery goes bad, and then you have to toss it. But that's not really a huge deal for me because I will use this, but it's not something I'm gonna be using a lot. If I was living out of my van, for example, or something, this was something I was using full time, using every day, I would probably have went for one of the ones with the better lithium battery, like um, I think maybe the Gold Zeros, some of the higher end ones that have a better lithium battery type. It, it's not the battery itself, it's the type of battery that has a much higher cycle count. Now, of course, by going with one of those, you're gonna pay for it. Again, this one was $249 on Amazon and they had a $20 off coupon. So yeah, for that kind of money and as well, made as this is, as nice as it appears, I think this will suit me just fine. It'll last me at least a several years of average use. So if y'all have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. And as always, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, every one of my viewers, and I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Take care.